Okay, so let's consider a new case. In this case, what's new is that I'm using a chalk powder as my tracer. Let's open the tab. And we have chalk powder coming in. And again, it's not really uniform concentration, but it's getting there. And from the fact it's chalk powder, you can guess that the chalk powder will eventually sink down and be removed from this system. And, and also, the rate of sinking is proportional to the size and the density of those particles. So, let's say I have, I don't know, one kilogram per liter of chalk powder in this water, I'll have a lot of uh, chalk powder sinking per unit of, of time. And if I have one gram of uh, chalk powder per, li per liter of water, my sinking rate, my outflux will be much lower. So the rate of outflux is proportional to the size of this chalk powder reservoir. And in this case, because uh, the, the height of the water is constant, the relation between those two magnitudes is equal, meaning 5% per hour of the size of the uh, reservoir, chalk powder reservoir, will be removed always. So it's a linear re relation.